So, just want to talk a little bit about the cars that you have today out there. Of course, uh, obviously the ultimate expression of, of what AMG is all about, the SLS Black Series with the ultimate SLS. Um, a car really inspired in many ways by the SLS GT3 car. Uh, you saw that car, we had one at the dinner, uh, at our dinner location last night, you can have a chance to look at this, but this is really taking that racing technology, bringing that from the track now back to the street. The SLS GT3 car has been one of the most successful cars in the European <coughs> GT3 championship for the past three years, or for the past two years, excuse me, with wins in the 24 hours of Dubai, 24 hours of Newburgh, a lot of opportunities where this car has run and done very well. So again, it's, uh, it, come, it can bring together a lot of things, obviously faster, more agile, lightweight, a lot of great technology goes into this car overall, uh, about more than 150 pounds <coughs> lighter uh, than its uh, comparable SLS. But we'll get into some of the details maybe. First of all, just the look of the car. Obviously, it's a, it's a very aggressive car. Um, and what we use, a lot of the, the changes to the body structure you'll see are, are mainly for air management, both for aerodynamics, keeping the car better planted on the track, and also air management in terms of cooling, getting car, getting cool air in, exhausting hot air, uh, pushing that out. So you see that from the side as well in terms of lightweight design. Uh, this car uses forged wheels, uh, carbon fiber drive shaft, uh, uh, the carbon fiber ceramic brakes. Um, you see also you get an appreciation for the width of the car. So the track widths are about an inch wider uh, front and rear. So definitely more purposeful design. From the rear, I think you get the best uh, impression of what that, that additional width to the car. You also see this uh, in the side skirt uh, in the rocker panel, which brings in air and actually cools the rear axle. So all these things are designed to exhaust air. You see this also in the rear with the splitter. And also you see the, uh, the just the tips of the titanium exhaust system. So also with the carbon fiber adjustable spoiler and an Ernie flap on the rear, just managing that air uh, through to the back of the car. So definitely uh, a lot of things, a lot of additional components on the outside really to bring this car uh, more track worthy. So now the engine. This is the ultimate expression of the 6.3 liter engine, the M159, now with 622 horsepower. So a lot of upgraded internals, forged components throughout, uh, really bring this engine uh, into, a, into a new realm. So you see the velocity stacks, the, interior, the, the intakes. Now this engine revs up to 8,000 RPM, so it's the highest revving SLS <coughs> engine uh, that we have. Also on the internal uh, mounting, we actually use a gas strut uh, on the mounting, uh, the, the mounting system uh, on the internal, uh, bringing this car just to keep it from twisting uh, so much with that high rev. So at 8,000 RPMs, obviously the engine has a chance to has an uh, let's say a tendency to twist, and we use a gas strut brace to actually bolster that on the inside of the car. So pretty amazing <coughs> technology. You also get a look at the exhaust system. So it's it's a titanium exhaust system. It's the only one like it in the world from the all the way through. <coughs> Saves about 30 pounds of weight. Uh, on the engine itself, uh, so bringing that to the back. Now the drive, drivetrain itself, you get a good look at the torque tube, you see the carbon fiber torque tube going back, that's also about a 30 pound weight savings. Stiffer anti-roll bars, uh, you also see the carbon ceramic brakes, which are uh, typical with the bronze caliber, as you see that's a sort of Mercedes-Benz trait. Also, the transmission itself is faster shifting and actually sits slightly lower in the drivetrain, just helping to, to lower the center of the overall center of gravity. You also can see just here the electronic differential, so it has variable locking ratios. So, uh, really, a, a great piece of technology to, to give you a little, make it a little bit more track worthy. So, a lot of amazing things going on. Uh, with the SLS Black Series. So you'll have a chance to, some of you have already driven it, uh, the rest of you will have a chance to drive this uh, today. So something to look forward to and definitely in an element that's worthy uh, of, of this car. So now let's move on to the 507. Uh, obviously with the, the C63 we're nearing the end of the life cycle and, and the, the 507 is, is really a great way to culminate the M156 engine and, and also the C, the C class. So. Higher horsepower, up to 507 horsepower, more than 50 horsepower uh, over its uh, over the uh, similar body. Um, we have it both in coupe and sedan, so it's actually a package you can add to this car. So it's an option to upgrade a normal C63. So a lot of things go into the car. Obviously, the engine, as I mentioned, 
uh, 50 higher horsepower. A lot of the internals uh, were using parts from the SLS, actually, some forged components, which allow us to uh, bring the power up on the engine. So some of the things you notice right away, aluminum hood, it's actually borrowed from the Black Series with the intakes uh, in the hood. Also black, uh, sort of blacked out components, you'll see uh, the rim around the grille, and also these front panels. And uh, on the side, we have a unique wheel design. So unique to this car, it's a 19-inch wheel uh, in silver or black. Uh, so you'll see that right away. You'll also notice the red calipers, which is the upgraded uh, braking system. So the red calipers with the compound rotors, so the two-piece rotors uh, lighting the, uh, bringing a little bit of weight out of the car. So that gives you a, a good shot of the exterior. Now on the inside, we actually have three different interiors for this car. I think we have, we have two of them here, or are they all the same? Are they, we have one with the porcelain and then one of the all black. So you get an idea of the flavor of, of each of those interiors. Uh, unique things on the inside of the car. Also, you'll see a 507 badge uh, denoting the special edition uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the dashboard there. So that's the uh, great car you'll have to drive here and uh, should have a lot of fun. So next up, another car that you've, some of you have spent time in already is the E63 AMG Formatic. Um, just stepping back a little bit and talking about what Formatic brings to the fray. Um, this is something that our customers have been asking for for, for years and, and we're happy to be able to do this with both the E63 and also the CLS 63. Both these AMG cars come standard with Formatic as of all year 14. So really a great setup and uh, something getting the power to the ground. It's in, what we love about it is it really helps all markets. So our guys out in California love it because we can put power to the ground like never before. So the performance gain uh, coming with this formatic system are significant. Then out of East Coast, or let's say in the Midwest, uh, in the snow belts, we have great uh, performance and, and all weather capabilities. So definitely something we're excited about what that means. So the E63, this is the, uh, the AMG, the formatic <coughs> sedan. Uh, 550 horsepower, really some great upgrades with our facelift to the E-Class this year. So we couldn't be more excited to bring this car to market. And of course for the customer where 550 horsepower isn't quite enough, we step up to the E63 AMG S model. So 577 horsepower, 591 pound-feet of torque. And, and the beauty of, of what I love about our engines is the torque comes on at such a low RPM. So 100% of the torque available already at 1,750 RPMs. So you know right away you're gonna be on the gas and you're gonna feel that power immediately. So great performance coming out of this car. And really the heart of it is our four wheel drive system. So a unique development for the AMG cars. Uh, torque split is 33% to the front and 66%, uh, excuse me, 67% to the rear. So you get a, a great feeling, that rearward bias. Uh, but at the same time, you have the benefits of all-wheel drive when you put that power down. So for those of you who have driven it already, you get that great feeling because when you jump into an all-wheel drive car that's designed for performance, putting that power down is like nothing else. So really a, a great, uh, a great uh, shot of that. So you see the drive line here. We got a close-up of this. Just so you see, uh, one of the nice things is we're able to, we didn't have to modify the transmission of the car. It's just a power takeoff that goes to the front axle. Uh, and you see that right here, going to the front axle and drive the front wheels. One of the nice benefits of this, because we're actually, uh, we don't add a lot of weight. It's just a, a little over 100 pounds, maybe about 100, and, I think around 150 pounds. Uh, around 150 pounds to add the formatic system. We're also actually able to take some weight out, because if you think about, normally we had to push all that through the drive line to the rear. We're actually able to use components that don't require as much weight. So lighter components driving the rear wheels because they're only taking up so much of the power. So we're able to divide that and install Formatic in the car in a very smart way. So really a, a, great, uh, a great chance to put that in the car. Now, continuing our Formatic story, obviously the CLA 45, much like the CLA 250 is the new gateway for the Mercedes-Benz brand, the CLA 45 AMG does the very same thing for AMG. So it's, it's the first time we've been, uh, you know, had a car like this at this price point. So, Coming in at $47,450, really the, the entry now for the AMG brand to be able to talk for, to a new customer. And the beautiful thing about it, we've done it in such an authentic way. This is a true AMG car in every way, from the engine, the drivetrain, the transmission, the suspension, everything that, uh, that we do normally, we do in this car. And, and we start with obviously a great looking car, and then we build in a great engine. So with... Uh, <coughs> The task for AMG was to build a four-cylinder engine. So if you can think about uh, what that means and, and what we came out with was the most powerful four-cylinder engine in series production. 355 horsepower, 335 pound-feet of torque, 
all of that at 2,250 RPM. So a four-cylinder, the, the boost level is what you're really unheard of, and we've, ever, we've been able to manage that in this car to bring the performance to this car that, uh, that people expect of an AMG. So definitely all the things to be very proud of uh, to make this a true member of the AMG family. So, of course, uh, in the driveline, a lot of upgraded components, great steering field, you see that in the car. Uh, so it's an electrical steering system, electro-hydraulic, uh, but it's variable assist with a constant <coughs> ratio. So you also can get an, uh, an idea of the front driveline, four piston calipers, 13.7 inch uh, ventilated and cross rule discs. Uh, so definitely a car which uh, it stops as well as it goes with a system like this. Just a close-up of, uh, of the transmission. This is the 7G, uh, 7DCT, so the, uh, the, the uh, DCT transmission uh, with the dual clutch, seven forward speeds, and uh, with uh, reinforced uh, synchro rings uh, made of carbon fiber. So a lot of really great technology coming into the car. You actually see what this looks like, and then this is the power takeoff to the rear, so you get a better idea how that all looks here. So you see uh, with the drive shaft, an interesting piece of technology, um, one of the things, obviously, when you're routing the power to the rear, so normally it's 100% to the front, and it varies uh, fully variable up to a 50-50 split. So bringing that power front and rear. I actually have a two-piece drive shaft with uh, some great technology and just also something that Mercedes-Benz is always thinking about from a safety aspect. It's actually a collapsible drive shaft. So in a collision, this front section can actually be absorbed into the, uh, the rear section in, a, in, a, uh, in the case of a really severe front collision. So something we're always looking at uh, within Mercedes-Benz, but also uh, really a great piece of technology. So if we uh, now look forward ahead, this is kind of our forward-looking slide. Um, what's next for AMG? And something we couldn't be any more excited about is the car we're going to debut in LA with the S63 AMG Formatic. Continuing this amazing story of AMG, incredible horsepower, incredible torque, also with all-wheel drive. And what we like about this car is not only are we, uh, we taking some weight out of the car, so we've taken, uh, I think, uh, uh, a couple of hundred pounds almost out of this car. Well, actually, so it's lighter on the road. It's also actually about $1,000 lighter on your wallet. So to bring all this together uh, in a great package at what we think is a, a really a, an awesome opportunity to, to talk about this kind of technology at the S-Class level, really a driver's car and a car you can drive across the country. So. Um, something we're certainly excited about in the performance of this car and what it really means for our brand to have an AMG car at the, at the S-Class level and, and just make all the things with an S-Class just even better. So that's a, a little bit about uh, what we have coming in the portfolio and, and uh, I won't keep you away from driving but I think...